Doesn't he seem like he would be a ridiculous damage dealer? He's just like this big dragon warrior with the two swords and he winds up being a defense unit that kind of... Well, we'll see. I don't want to jump to conclusions as much as I love to jump to conclusions. We're going to take a look at him today. He is a defense-based monster. His skills scale with defense. First one, attack the enemy two times. Decrease defense for two turns, 35% chance each. Not necessarily this one, but the Dragon's Breath attacks all enemies two times. Deal damage proportionate to your defense. 30% more damage to targets with harmful effects. Additionally, you have no harmful effects. Absorbs the attack bar by 20% each. This kind of reminds me a little bit of... Uh, a Camomere, wherever a Camomere is. That <laughs> is not a Camomere. Uh, this over here, 30% uh, increased damage like that for harmful effects on the enemies. So defense break would give you this the effect of a defense break naturally, and then the additional, not additional damage, the extra damage of the... Um, the increased uh, damage with harmful effects. And then we have the Dragon Bombardment attacks all enemies to deal damage that's proportional to your defense and removes all beneficial effects. In addition, decrease the HP of enemies with beneficial effects removed by 15%. I just feel like this one's not going to be as crazy as some of the other strip units, but try to... Also, he has the... Uh, the leader skill's not bad. Not bad. But uh, we're going to see. See what he does. And then take it from there. What kind of team is... <laughs> Hold on. We got a Fey Abelio team. They just pivoted right away. The Fey is... I don't know what the Fey is going to do. All right. Attack power buff is uh, banned on left-hand side. I was wondering if they were going to go for the Drakon Warrior or not. Because he is... They wouldn't have been able to ignore defense on him. Well, let's see. Do they actually get it? Enough to kill Vanessa, actually. And it's... That's a nice one. All right. I mean, we didn't really see too much there, but... The the, the Fey Revive, ignoring defense on the Vanessa, was actually pretty pretty solid. Take out the Sonya. So you got the Gianna and her counter. And Velajolio. So turn one, going to the right-hand side. Gets the strip, but they're going to increase attack gauge and come back from the... Oh, no, they're not! If we get another turn and get the Dragon's Breath, decrease attack gauge. So if he doesn't have any harmful effects on him, he is going to do the attack gauge. Well, actually, attack gauge absorb there. And luckily got the provoke on two units that do immunity. So he's going to be able to potentially keep up this tempo. Let's see. They could come back, though. You never know. It's going to be hard. Technically, pos okay, they just give up. Interesting drafts on the right-hand side. They only have one speed lead, though. They have to pick a second speed lead. Okay, there we go. So they're actually going to take turn one on the right and be able to snipe something out. They have the T online there, though. So he's... Let's see. Yeah, not, not enough to cut in. And he gets CC'd. Gianna's going to be huge here, though. Okay, gets the strip. I just assumed they got the strip. I didn't fin finish. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it gets resisted. Gets the strip. Okay. Let's jump to conclusions. Nice. Absorb attack gauge. Since he does not have any harmful effects on him. And uh, despair too. Let's see. Does he get the no additional turn? Despair only proc'd with skill one. Double Dracon Warriors. LD gets banned. Yep. So, player on the right-hand side is going to take turn one. Let's see if they can keep up the tempo. Let's see what happens. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Double stuns. Shung Pung is just hanging in there. Okay. Strips. Nice. Do they proc? No proc. Defense. 
fence breaks. But the fire dracon here, though. Like, the wind one's doing okay. The fire dracon, I just, there's no heals on the team. I, I don't think it was a great spot to use him. I'm sure they just were playing with him because they're like, I just got this unit. I want to see what he does. And fully heals the team because Juno. Yeah. I don't think this is a great spot for the Fire Dracon, but I do like the uh, the Wind one here. He's been doing, so far, he's been doing better than I expected him to. Leo and Miles on the same team? Wait a second. And bans out the, you didn't have to ban out the Miles. If you're going to leave the Leo in, you didn't have to ban out the Miles. Oh my goodness. Missed opportunity. He wasn't going to do anything. Oh my goodness. That transmog is so cute. Bans out the miles. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see what he can do. And it's trip. There we go. Oh, and the stun too. Okay. Doesn't cleanse enough. And he wasn't going to do the absorb in this one because he had the, uh, the deep. Wait. Regardless, he, if he had, uh, if he was able to do skill two, he wouldn't have absorbed because he had debuffs. Although with the debuff cleanse is actually nice. The Dark Dokebi. I feel like Torrent's often just disappointing if it's not if it's not in its 30% range. Let's see. I feel like the most exciting thing he's gonna do in some of these is gonna be proc the despair. So close. So close. Yeah, <laughs> proc despair. Defense break and proc despair. I feel like the dark dog be would actually be good with the fire one too, because well, it's good with the wind because he cleanses, right? So he gets that extra bonus with the skill too, but also with the fire one because heal would cause the uh, the fire dog heavy. I mean, the, the fire the fire dracon wow dracon warrior to have his attack gauge increased as part of that uh, Dark Dokebi passive. First pick, Wind Dracon. I wonder if that's going to be a Swift Vertiheal or... Well, I guess not. Okay. Bans out the Juno, bans out one of the LD5s, of course. That's not really that surprising. Juno, though. I, I don't feel like she was the scariest unit on the opposing side. Guess the strips or no? Everything but Veladrol, and it doesn't really matter right now for Veladrol because he already has his. Uh, he used his skill three, so he's not as scary. Nice provokes there. Huge provokes. Water Indra, such a nice unit. Ooh, didn't get it. Oh, got it there. <laughs> oh, infinite. Oh, there's so many provokes here. Wow. So I guess you could. Because the Juno was going to cleanse the Provoke, but I I still feel like they, they could have easily taken care of the Juno. Water Indra is so nice. So I know we're not looking at the Water Indra, but I'm looking at the Water Indra. A little bit better than I expected, but I wasn't really expecting much. I thought that the wind one was going to be the least exciting of all the Dracon warriors, but it turns out, from what I've seen so far with the fire one, I know we didn't do a video of him, but the fire one, people are not using him right. <laughs> I don't know what to even really think of him at this point, but the wind one seemed usable. I think this, this, I definitely did not give enough credit to the absorb attack gauge. That's actually pretty nice. So 
multi uh, AoEs. He wasn't really doing crazy amounts of damage. They didn't set him up to do crazy amounts of damage. He was just there to do some crowd control strips, stuns, a little bit of uh, a little bit of damage right here. 15% uh, HP decrease is actually not that bad. So you can build him as tanky as you want. You don't have to really worry about the damage. He's going to do that 15% HP uh, decrease anyway. So that's kind of nice. And the CC between these two and despair. And the leader skill is not bad. So a little bit better than I expected, to be honest. But that's it for this one. Hopefully we get to see a fire one soon. I just can't find any, any gameplay of that thing being used correctly. So anyway, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.